Welcome to our deep dive into the latest NVIDIA flagship uh, GPU, the 5090. It has a really, really amazing spec. So this is a glimpse of it. It uh, features uh, an incredible 21,760 CUDA cores and uh, 32 gigabytes of VRAM. In this video, I want to show you how to use it to run Comfy UI and uh, how fast it can be. Before you can harness the full potential of the RTX 5090, you need to ensure that uh, your system is running the latest uh, NVIDIA drivers. Here's uh, how to do it on Windows. You need to go to the NVIDIA website and uh, you are going to Need to do a menu driver search. You enter all your information here. You can enter 50, 90, or 80. Start search. And uh, you can see the driver results. You can either select uh, the game ready or the studio driver. I think both. Uh, can work. For me, I used the first one, so it will show me the download link. After you download that, just install it. So for example, I will double click it to install it. Once it's ready, so you can double check it, go to your device manager, go to the display adapter, Click on that to expand it. And the 5090, double click on that. So as you can see, it shows you the device driver is working properly. Click on the driver and you can see the driver version, which is 32 point, which is 5.7216. So this one looks good. So driver date was uh, last month, January 26th. Okay, so I think this, this looks good. You can close that. You may need to restart your computer if you needed to do that. I uh, usually you start my PC like uh, after the driver update. So it looks good. Okay, so after you install the driver, your Windows machine were able to recognize it. If you open your task manager, you can see that. Click on the GPU, you can see that it is able to recognize it. 5090 it has 32 gigabytes of VRAM. Looks amazing. And let's see how to uh, use it for actual work. Uh, it brings us to how to use the Comfy UI. So because uh, the NVIDIA card is uh, so new, the driver part is uh, just also very new. So for PyTorch, it hasn't been able to support it on Windows. Although they say it's able to support it on Linux, I will check it out like next time. But for, for today, luckily for the Comfy UI, it uh, has already supported it. So you're gonna need to go to their blog page, you click uh, on the discussion thread. So you can go to there, and I think there's some explanation there. Luckily for Windows, there is a automatically uh, prepackaged installer that you can use that. So you can just uh, start to download that. So once you download that, you can unzip it. So the result will be a uh, standalone directory. So for example, this is my directory. So I think it's already packaged the CUDA 12.8 and also supported the 50 series card for NVIDIA. It's very, very amazing. Thank you, Comfy UI team. You really did a great job. So once you have that, I think you can double click it and you can find the Comfy UI directory. You go into there. So I think uh, for here, if if you are not familiar yet, please check out my previous uh, tutorial. I have laid out uh, the 
what you need to do. So in this case, you need to download some models and uh, you have them into the correct subdirectory. So for example, today I want to show you the performance for the flux dev for the flux dev. So if you can go to the example of flux page from the comfy UI official, so I think there's a give you the details about how to download it, or you can please check out my previous tutorial on how to run that. So I will quickly go over, over some of the things. So uh, I will use the flux step. So this one is uh, quite slow, like uh, it took a lot of time actually. So let's see how it performs on the 5090 card. Mm, so let's uh, see that. So once you have the models, I will quickly go, go through them. You, you make sure that you uh, go to the VAE part for here. You have the AE, the safe tensors here. Go to the clip. You have the clip that clip underscore L and the T5XXL underscore FP16. So these two are important and go back to the models, you go to the UNet, this one. So make sure that you have your checkpoint here. In this case, I'm using the floating point 8 version, which is smaller and also have high quality. So I usually prefer this one because it's kind of also smaller, about 16 gigabytes. All right, so once you have them, I think you can go back to your comfy UI uh, directory. You can double click the wrong NVIDIA GPU, the last one, double click it. It will automatically open up a command line so that it will be able to um, uh, automatically start everything for you. So very, very easy. As you can see, it shows me uh, the G GPU model, which is uh, CUDA 0 device, which is uh, RTX 5090. It has uh, uh, 32 gigabytes of VRAM and uh, 49 gigabytes of RAM. And also, uh, I forgot to mention that because the Flux model is quite a big, you would need uh, quite a lot of RAM in order to load it. So for example, I think uh, if you have like a 30 gigabytes of RAM, it may not be sufficient. So if you encounter any issue, please double check if like uh, monitor your RAM usage. Maybe you need uh, more RAM for that. All right, so, so once it uh, uh, loaded uh, the packages, you will open up uh, the browser automatically. So one thing I want to mention is that uh, there is some issue, some error message on the terminal. Don't worry, some of the packages are not officially supported. Don't worry about those. This, I think uh, eventually they will go away once uh, the updates are coming. So here, I think, uh, as you can see, it opens up the directory. So there is an uh, example workflow that you can use or please go to my GitHub uh, repo. You can download the workflow to try it. And for now, let's see how it uh, performs. I will do a very, very simple prompt. Young woman holds the sign saying tech practice, which is the name of my YouTube channel. And uh, for the other things, make sure that you have the correct uh, model name loaded, for example, you can click on that to make sure that you select the one. FP16, clip L, and the last one is the AE safe tensors. Okay, and uh, you can also make some of the other things, right? For now, I will use the default ones. And uh, let's uh, press uh, enter to start. Let's. Uh, the first run, it will need to load uh, some of the models, so it uh, will be naturally longer, but I will do it uh, for at least uh, 
three times or four times, just so you can see that、uh, how it performs. Press the button Q yet? Yeah, and、uh, here is the GPU. So as you can see, for the RAM part, it just started、uh, to load、uh, the models, which are quite big. So it、uh, goes up to around the thirty, and、uh, goes down because it transferred、uh, the files to the GPU here. And it、uh, started uh, working, and as you, you can see that it's around the ten seconds, quite nice. The temperature goes up to around the fifty-five Celsius degree. The total inference time is around the eleven seconds. Let's、uh, try it、uh, one more time. And the results also looks amazing. Okay, the second time is about twelve、uh, seconds from end to end, so that's really nice. Let's try it、uh, one more time, and、uh, let's、uh, change it to the cooler one. So the CUDA usage is around one hundred percent. We see the GPU uses around twenty-one gigabytes of the RAM. Okay, so the speed-wise,、uh, it's also eleven seconds. Really nice. In terms of the, of the power usage, I also want to show you the GPU for it. So, all right. So, let's see the sensors to see how it performs. So, this is、uh, the power draw is around the five hundred watts. So, as you can see, that、uh, it uses about five hundred watts power draw, and I think that's part of a reason why it is、uh, so quick. I think,、uh, as you can see, that、uh, it really, really works very well for the Flux model, which is one of the state-of-art best-performing model. I'm really happy that、uh, they have it supported. In summary, the RTX 5090 is an amazing card which can run Comfy UI very nicely. I hope、uh, this video is useful to you. Please subscribe to my channel. I will upload、uh, more videos about、uh, 5090. Goodbye.